Unit's had a ventriculoperitoneal shunt operation. So what was it like before the shunt procedure for you? Tell me the symptoms that were worrying you. <clears throat> I had constant falls, mm -hmm. continually falls all the time. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get up. Mm -hmm. And on a couple of occasions, I had to get the ambulance to help me up. Right. That was that was the bad thing. And, and was it sort of... <laughs> Increasing in frequency, progressive. Or? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 And so your your doctor eventually sent you to me about what two months ago now. Well, three months. I was I had a fall, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I finished up in hospital from that. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was actually the physician in in Budrum Hospital. Yeah. Who decided that I should come down you and see do you? Something about it. Yeah. 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 So that's the one. Not my GP. Yeah. Not anybody. You had a brain scan as well. At the time? Yep. Yep. An MRI. I've yep. had numerous MRIs. Yep. And what did those and what what did you understand those MRIs showed? They showed non non pressure hydrocephalus. Normal pressure normal hydrocephalus. Pressure. Sorry, sorry. Normal pressure that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So basically what that means is lots of water on the brain. Yep. Lots of water yeah. on the brain. And, um, you know, it's a little bit unclear why some people develop normal pressure hydrocephalus, but that means that the balance, the equilibrium of fluid mm. production by the brain and fluid removal by the brain is, is, is uh, damaged in some way. And so over many, many years, the, f the fluid pressure slowly, or the volume mm. of fluid slowly builds up. And if the volume of fluid builds up, <clears throat> that means there's less room for the brain. Mm. Okay, so... The nerve fibres get a little bit stretched and then you can develop those symptoms. And any other symptoms, do you know? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, incontinence, yep. badly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In spite of surgery that was supposed to correct it. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And that was worse than before. Yeah, urinary um, bladder surgery didn't work. Well, it was... It didn't really help. It was um, a complete reconstruction, mm -hmm, the vaginal mm -hmm, reconstruction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, right. And it didn't didn't, didn't work. Didn't do I was worse than I was before. Yeah, because the brains the brains where the problem lies. Mm. And what about uh, even though you had the the fluid building up on the brain, did you suffer from headaches? Just a bit, not a lot. Not really. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. that's that's a classic feature of mm. normal pressure hydrocephalus. You don't actually have to have headaches. Mm. So, um, so that's uh, what about what about your memory and. You know, you're processing. Um, I'd have it occasions that I would be talking to somebody mm. and I knew what I wanted to say, mm. but I couldn't say it. Mm -hmm. And um, I just couldn't get the word out. I couldn't mm -hmm. form it. Yeah, yeah. It was <clears throat> weird. Unusual, isn't it? Yeah. And, and so, I'm oh, sorry, Kiki. Um, I mean, you know, some of them, some of my memory might be because of my age, but mm -hmm. I'm not that old yet. No, not at all. No. Well, uh, and, and so we've had the surgery, it's now what? Seven weeks. Seven ago. weeks, not even two months yet. And um, tell me, what's on your list there? What's on my positive mm. list? Yeah. I'm amazed at the difference that the surgery's made to me. I appreciate, first of all, that my hair wasn't all shaved off. Right, right, yeah. I good, really good. do. Did you think it was all going to be shaved off? Well, I didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> right, I looked yeah. horrible. I yeah, looked yeah, ugly yeah. afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, I was using a wheelie walker yep. to get around the village when mm -hmm. I went shopping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that's and no um, longer in use. Don't need it, don't need it. Right. I, don't, I've got, I take a walking stick just a security but I really don't need it yeah I don't use that at home yeah um I've had no falls wonderful I've had um beforehand I was dragging my left foot mm -hmm. I don't know if that's associated with it but I was I was conscious of this dragging of my left foot when I was mm. walking mm. that's Gone. Yeah. That's gone. And we haven't um, even started your rehab yet. So that's our next step. 
So yeah. without it, without even having started your rehab, you're already noticing improvements. But I think mm. you'll get even better because now yeah. that we can move towards the next step of a bit yeah. of reconditioning. Yeah, uh, I haven't finished all the good points. Oh yet. wow, still more. <laughs> Incontinence is ninety nine wow. percent stopped. Magic. I've got magic. I don't use any continence pads or mm. pull-ups or anything mm. anymore. Oh, that's amazing. That's, yeah, as I said, this Lovely. is totally amazing. Yeah. Um, and, but and you've also most... started improving your diet too, haven't you? Which is another factor that could be helping too. Well... You remember the diet? I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. trying to go by your eating yeah. plan. Yeah, yeah. I'm walking twice a day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've got a lovely little dog that loves to go for walks, so twice, yeah. twice a day I'll go about yeah. half an hour each time. Do you think you've got more energy now? Do you feel like you're more energetic? Well, I can go mm. I can go for these walks, whereas I wasn't before. Yeah. Um, That's fabulous. Yeah. Really, really pleased to hear that. Um, and what about your brain power? Crosswords? And oh, yeah. I'm, just, <clears throat> I'm doing pretty that. Pretty sharp? Pretty sharp? Um, yeah, you I'm feel still... Like, you feel like your memory's a bit better? Yeah, like I'm I s still doing those. Yep. The big ones, yeah. like you saw on yeah. I was doing. Mm -hmm. and, and um, When you were in hospital, I think I sat down and we helped you with a couple of words. Oh, you didn't get me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I would get a brain scan as well. <laughs> no, or when right. there's some... Oftentimes there's some words I haven't heard of. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. They're, they're, but I'm really stoked. Yeah, really good, good, yeah, good, good. And um, mm -hmm. I've just got to disagree with one thing you said. Sure, if I, absolutely. I'm not super sensitive to pain. You told me I was super your belly, sensitive. Your belly. In your belly. Um, yeah. Nah, was that pretty that, sore for a little while, just in the belly? It was very much. Yeah. Very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's settled down. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Sometimes there's a little bit of stretching that we have to do to get down there of mm. the muscle. And obviously the more we have to stretch the muscle to get the tube in, then mm. the more it takes, the longer it takes to, to have yeah. that muscle bruising settle down. But, but that didn't take too long. That, what, what, 10 days maybe or a week? Oh, by the time I got to, to Budrum, I was yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah, but That's the last it. thing I've got on my little list says... Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing this surgery for me. My pleasure. My pleasure. It Absolutely. was just, yeah, I'm just... It's a pretty I safe really operation. Am. It is a pretty safe operation. You know, there are, there are always risks with, with surgery and, and brain surgery, mm. but <clears throat> it's all about weighing up risks and benefits. Yeah, right? I was scared. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you that now. I was... Yeah. I'm not a sin calm, but I was scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my family were not... They didn't really know what to do. And my family were not in, <clears throat> entirely in favour of, of it. Yeah, yeah. But it was my call, it was my decision. They're all happy now? Oh, I think so. Good. Yeah. Good. yeah. Well, that's fantastic. And you're happy for us to share this story with, with my um, uh, website and um, Facebook page to let other people who, who yeah. may be thinking about this surgery. For sure, yeah. Um, yeah. It, it was, <clears throat> I think you said to, to my son, mm. it was worth, um, worth a try. Yeah. And yeah. I'm damn, well, yeah. I'm damn pleased I've we done it. We don't do it willy-nilly. We sort of, it's a calculated, um, and, and, and a calculated risk assessment. You know, well, look, you I've had, I'd, I'd been into one rehab place mm. The doctor there didn't know what mm, mm, what was mm. wrong with me. Mm. He contacted my ophthalmologist and said, "Sometimes eye drops make you imbalanced." So mm. they changed my eye drops. I had been referred to a, a physiotherapist who who um, specialised in crystals crystals in the ears. Yeah, yeah. And the balance, the balance yeah, part. Yeah, and I went to her for about six months. Yep. Didn't didn't really help. Didn't much. do yeah. didn't do any good and I just felt mm, had to do something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, and I think, you know, we know from experience that um, people can make pretty dramatic improvements. Some people the improvement is not so dramatic. Um, and that may be 
for a, a number of reasons. Mm. Um, but you, you can never know how good someone can get, unfortunately, unless you do the Until procedure. you've done it, yeah. Exactly. There isn't a test, really. My, my neighbour, mm. she's just amazed as I am. Yeah. My sister-in-law, mm. who I phoned, she's mm. in Toowoomba. Mm. She um, she could tell a difference in a, in my voice. Wow, that's you really know good. this is yeah. this is all the things that have just yeah happened. You have transformed. Oh yeah, I'm a new new person. Okay, we'll keep up all those good foundational elements of health: yeah. nutrition, sleep, movement, and you don't seem too stressed now. So they're the no. four foundational pillars of health. Nutrition, movement, sleep and stress management. The four things that we're in control of that can make us healthy. Yep. Thanks, Jeanette. And